Hello, my name is Anupav and I'm Technical Marketing Engineer working for our security business group at Cisco Systems. In this video, I will talk about securing workloads in Azure. How to enable north-south east-west traffic inspection using next generation firewall in Azure. Before I move ahead in this video, I will talk a little bit about previous video which I did on next generation firewall. In previous video, I talked about next generation firewall basics and installation of next generation firewall in Azure. If you have not seen that video, I request you to pause this video and watch previous video before you move ahead. This is uh, my network diagram. Uh, you can see I have a VNet. Under that VNet, I have uh, seven subnets. Starting from right, I have management subnet. In management subnet, I have connected ETH0 interface of next generation firewall. This ETH0 interface will get private IP address and this IP address is mapped to the public IP address. And using public IP address, I'm managing this NGFW from my on-prem firepower management center. ETH1 of uh, NGFW is a diagnostic interface which is not shown in this diagram. And then we have two data interfaces. ETH2 is outside or external interface. ETH3 is internal or inside interface. Now, apart from these subnets, I also have web subnet, app subnet, and database subnet. In each subnet, I have a workload running and each workload is mapped to an external IP address or public IP address and I'm doing some kind of uh, translation on firewalls so that users from internet can access those public IP address and reach these internal subnets. So this is how I'm achieving north-south traffic inspection. Now other part is, the second requirement is to enable east-west traffic inspection. So now requirement is if anybody from web subnet would like to reach app or vice versa or if anybody from web would like to reach DB, that traffic should also go through next generation firewall. In that case, since we have only four interfaces on next generation firewall, out of which two interfaces are used for data subnets. So in order to achieve such kind of requirement, you have something known as UDR. UDRs are user-defined routes in Azure. Using UDRs, uh, you can create a, a setup where you can enable north-south and east-west traffic inspection using a single next-generation firewall appliance. So here in this diagram, what I've done is I've created three UDRs rather four UDRs. Starting from left, I have web UDR. Under web UDR, I have a route saying if anybody would like to reach internet, next hop is NGFW. If anybody is trying to reach app subnet, next hop is NGFW. If anybody is trying to reach database subnet, next hop is next generation firewall. So uh, I have created uh, one UDR for web subnet, one UDR for app subnet, one UDR for data subnet, and one UDR for internal subnet as well. So using this particular uh, network topology and network design, uh, when we can enable east-west traffic inspection as well. So I'll just go ahead and pause this video and I will quickly jump into portal.azure.com and I will show you how uh, we can deploy such kind of setup and just another thing I would like to add here is UDR routes will take precedence over system routes. So that's the sole reason we are able to achieve this network design. So I'll quickly pause this video and take you to portal.azure.com and I will show you the complete setup and I will show you how I have enabled NATing, how uh, I have enabled UDRs and I will also talk about how traffic is getting inspected. So I'll just pause this video. Welcome back. We are now connected to portal.azure.com and I'll show you from scratch how I have deployed this setup. 
So I'll start off with uh, my configuration on uh, Azure side and then I will uh, log into Firepower Management Center as well and I will show you how things are deployed on next generation firewall. So I have created a resource group and in this resource group I have a couple of things uh, which I would like to highlight. So I'll just start off with a VNet. So if you look at this VNet here, uh, which is part of this resource group, and if I go to subnets, I have seven subnets there, starting from management subnet where I have uh, ETH0 in the face of NGFW. And this ETH0 will have IP address from 10.9000 slash 24 subnet. And this IP is translated on uh, on a NAT, uh, NAT gateway, Azure NAT gateway. And using that public IP address, I'm managing NGFW from FMC located on-prem. Second subnet I have is a diagnostic subnet where I have ETH1 interface of uh, NGFW and then I have two data interfaces. One interface ETH2 is part of external uh, subnet, ETH3 is part of internal subnet. Apart from these subnets, I also have web, app and DB and requirement is to enable north, south and east, west traffic inspection. In web, app and db i have one workload located in each subnet and i need to enable traffic uh, communication from internet towards these workloads as well as inter subnet communication through next generation firewall so i'll go back to uh, dashboard and i will go to a resource group again so um I have a next generation firewall deployed here. If I click on this one right here, you will see I have public IP address assigned on ETH0 interface. I'll go to interfaces here. I'll go to NIC0. In NIC0, you will see I have 5261.14.223 as uh, translated or public IP address and this IP address is used by FMC or Firepower Management Center to manage this NGFW. I have other interfaces as well. Uh, I have e no, I have NIC1 which is a diagnostic interface and I have NIC2 as well. Now in NIC2 I am not only using single public IP address I'm, I'm not using only single IP address. I have I have three public IP addresses and each public IP address is uh, translated to one of the private IP addresses here so 2.4 is mapped to 19.73 2.5 is mapped to 26.49 2.6 is mapped to 128.247 these IP addresses are used by workloads so first a translation that I have on NGFW is sending any traffic coming on .1973 on RDP. That will go to web uh, server, uh, so, uh, workload located in web subnet. 26.49, any, any RDP traffic on this IP address will go to workload located in app subnet. One 82.47 RDP session will go to workload located on DB subnet. So, uh, uh, so I'll just go back here and now I will talk a little bit about route tables. So um, I've created user defined routes. So if I go here, I'll start from route table which I've created for internal subnet the subnet that is on ETH3 of NGFW. So here I have specified if you want to reach, so I'll just go to routes first. So this is the route which I have created. So my default route for this subnet is pointing towards 1093.4 and it is associated to internal subnet. Likewise, I have other route tables as well. So uh, this is mapped to internal subnet. So any workload which is there in the internal subnet for that uh, workload default route is NGFW. 
now I'll go to um, the res uh, I'll go to resource group again now I will see web or web uh, route table this route table if I go to routes you will see that I have uh, three routes one route is a default route uh, which is pointing to 1093.4 which is internal interface address of NGFW then I have another route for DB network app network and this route table is mapped to web subnet likewise I have route table for DB So default route and route for web and app subnets going to inside interface of NGFW. You can see association as well. It is associated to DB subnet. And if you want to see uh, in detail about workloads as well, I can show you that as well. So these are the workloads. Uh, So these are the servers. Um, so app server, database server, and application server, um, database server, and web server. So these are the three servers running. So um, now I will quickly go to FMC. So in Firepower Management Center, I'm managing my next generation firewall. I will go to device management. And I will show you how uh, this device is added. So I will just take you through that. And this device is added as a routed device in Firepower Management Center. I will go ahead and click Edit. I have external interface, internal interface, and apart from that, I have routes. So this is very important. This step is very important to understand because um, you need to have route pointing back to um, web subnet, application subnet, and database subnet. So if you look at first IP address of uh, your internal interface, that is your default gateway always. So on my uh, NGFW, I'm saying if I want to reach web subnet, next hop is 3.1, which is inside interface of inside subnet of the NGFW likewise I have pointed it to 3.1 and 3.0 slash 24 is internal subnet so first IP address of the internal subnet is next hop for all the three subnets so make sure that you assign this as 3.1 or the first IP address for all your next hop for the subnets which are behind NGFW. Apart from this, I have NAT config here. So if I go to edit here, I've created few NAT policies uh, starting from uh, first one. The first one is for any traffic hitting on interface on RDP that will go to web server located in web subnet. Any uh, traffic on app server external IP uh, on RDP port that will go to app server in app subnet. Any RDP request on RDP external IP or DAB, uh, DB server external IP, it will go to DB server located in uh, DB, in DB subnet. So that's uh, about the config on uh, on uh, next generation firewall and I will just show you access policies as well just in case um, you want to see what is allowed and what is not so I'll go to access control policy for this demo purpose I have created um, a very um, um, easy uh, policy not easy uh, just open policy where I've specified internal external source as internal and destination as internal because I need to hairpin traffic from inside to inside so I have allowed selective traffic here as well and then I have allowed everything just for demo purpose everything is allowed so uh, I will quickly uh, log into uh, my next generation firewall or NGFW 
So I'll just uh, log in here. So uh, I'll type system support diagnostic CLI. Here I will show you IP address of all the interfaces. So I have external interface, internal interface and diagnostic interface. I will run debug ICMP trace so that I can see traffic is hitting on this device or not. I will log into web server which is part of web subnet. From this server I will go and ping 10.90.5.4 which is another workload running in app subnet. So I'll just initiate this ping and I will see on my uh, firewall as well see that request is coming from internal interface with source IP 10944 and it's going to 10954 and return traffic is coming via same interface so I can see echo request and echo reply as well so now I'll try another test I will ping server located in app or DB subnet I will initiate this ping I'm able to ping it I will just go back here I will see that traffic is coming from 1090.4.4 and going to 1096.4 echo request is from the same interface and reply is coming from the same interface which means the traffic in and out passing through the same interface and it is getting inspected by next generation firewall I have other servers as well from where I can uh, initiate traffic so uh, from um, web this is my um, database server from database I can ping 1095.4 I can ping it I will now try to ping workload located in web subnet I will try to ping it it is also reachable now I will go to application server I will initiate ping from application to 10.90.4.4 which is uh, web server I'm able to ping it I will go back to and I'll ping uh, 5.4 which is a workload located in app I can reach that as well and I can see all ping requests and replies are coming through this through an NGFW internal interface I will now go back to uh, FMC just to verify so I'll go to analysis and I will go to events under analysis I'll go to connections and then I'll go to events so under events you can see echo request coming from these source IP addresses and destination IP addresses so uh, this is how we deploy uh, next generation firewall in Azure and play with UDRs to add multiple subnets behind it and this way we can achieve uh, north south as well as east west traffic inspection and we can make sure that our traffic is always inspected through next generation firewall I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching